Together once we know that we are, we're all stars and we see that. Oh yeah, what's up everybody? Today you are learning English with a classic high school musical. And don't worry if you haven't seen the movie or if you're not a fan of musicals because this lesson will help you on your dream to be able to understand TV series and movies without getting lost without missing the jokes and without subtitles. In fact, Pedro wrote to us and he told us that after watching our channel and learning from our lessons, he can now understand conversations and watch movies without subtitles. So join Pedro and improve your English. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and the bell down below so you don't miss any of our new lessons. Wow. It's like a jungle up here. Yeah, just like that cafeteria. Where I just humiliated myself into the next century. No, come on. <laughs> so this is your private hideout? Yeah, thanks to the science club, which means my buddies don't even know it exists. <laughs> you pretty much have the school wired, don't you, Troy? Seems to me like everyone on campus wants to be your friend. <laughs> I saw the way you treated Kelsey at the audition yesterday. Do your friends know that guy? To them, I'm the playmaker, dude. Then they don't know enough about you, Troy. At my other schools, I was the freaky math girl. It's cool coming here and being anyone I want to be. When I was singing with you, I just felt like a girl. You even looked like one, too. <laughs> well, uh, I never thought about singing, that's for sure. Are you? So you really want to do the callbacks? Hey, just call me Freaky Callback Boy. <laughs> You're a cool guy, Troy. But not for the reasons your friends think. And thanks for showing me your top secret hiding place. Like kindergarten. The High School Musical Trilogy is a true immersion in the life of American teenagers as it follows the story of Troy, Gabriella, and their friends at East High School as they resist peer pressure while inspiring others to follow their passions. Wow, it's like a jungle up here. Yeah, just like that cafeteria. A jungle is an area with dense forest where the trees grow closely together. This is what Gabriella is referring to as there are many plants in the place where they are. However, Troy says that it's just like the cafeteria. That's because just before going up there, they witnessed a scene in which other students were dancing and revealing things about themselves. The word jungle then can also be used to refer to an uncontrolled or confusing situation. For example, your room is a real jungle. How can you sleep in there? A more common term you will hear is mess. Can't get the monkey off your back. Monkey, monkey. monkey shine beer, cause it's a jungle out there. That commercial always makes me so sad. Yeah, but then the guy opens his beer and those girls run at him, so everything seems to work out okay. So in this example, the commercial has made the same joke as Troy. And that's really the great thing about learning with friends. You'll learn real life vocabulary to understand jokes. You can study and have fun at the same time. And I will let you try our Fluent with Friends course for free today with our three part masterclass. To get started and sign up today, you can click up here or I'll leave it linked down in the description below. What are you waiting for? Where well, I just humiliated myself into the next century. No, come on. <laughs> Come on is one of those expressions in English that can express multiple things depending on the context and intonation. Here, Troy uses it to politely disagree with Gabriella's statement that she humiliated herself. So Troy feels that Gabriella's statement was wrong or a little foolish. Come on can also be used when you don't believe what someone has said, when you want someone to hurry up, or even if they should try something harder and so much more. Check out these examples and try to identify the ideas they are expressing. Dude, what have you gotten us into? Come on, we can totally turn this thing around. Like a shark, to the chest, to the chest. Come on, pop it. Come on, guys, step with it. Let's go. Let's 
Come on, move it. Let's go. Come on, guys. Focus. Focus. Get your head in the game. Match the following meanings of come on to the correspondent scenes. A, inviting someone to do something. B, telling someone to try something harder. C, encouraging someone to do something. So this is your private hideout? Yeah, thanks to the science club which means my buddies don't even know it exists. <laughs> a hideout is a secret place where people go when they don't want others to find them. For example, a cabin up in the mountains makes a perfect weekend hideout. Troy says that because the garden is a place looked after by the science club, his basketball buddies won't know about it. Buddy singular or buddies plural is an informal word for friend. Um, Dad, this is Gabriela Montes. Ah, your detention buddy. I'll see you later, Troy. You pretty much have the school wired, don't you, Troy? Seems to me like everyone on campus wants to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> to be wired means to feel excited. What Gabriella means is that Troy, as the basketball team captain, is a person who makes everyone around him feel excited about something. For example, the Wildcats won the game. We're still wired up about it. All right, everyone, settle down. I know we are all still excited about our Wildcats top to bottom championships. Do your friends know that guy? To them, I'm the playmaker, dude. Dude is an informal word for man. It's the same as guy. A playmaker in team sports is the person who organizes and controls the attack, oftentimes scoring points for the team. What Troy means is that his friends don't really know him and think of him just as the guy responsible for winning the games. They don't know his other interests, such as singing. Hey, you gotta see this dude play baseball. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Isn't the composer of a show kind of like the playmaker in basketball? Playmaker? You know, the one who makes everyone else look good. I mean, without you, there is no show. You're the playmaker here, Kelsey. I am? At my other schools, I was the freaky math girl. What does freak mean in this context? A, crazy. B, weirdo. C, popular. In the story, Gabriella is considered a math genius. When she says people call her freaky math girl, she is referring to the stereotypical way that students are divided in high school. Sports people are the popular ones, and studious ones are considered weird. They are also called geeks, which is considered a mean word. I reviewed your impressive transcripts. I expect your light will shine very brightly here at East High. I don't want to be the school's freaky genius girl again. When I was singing with you, I just felt like a girl. You even looked like one too. <laughs> when Gabriella tells Troy that she felt like a girl, she means that singing with him made her feel normal, without all the labels people had given her. He jokes about it, saying that she even looked like a girl, which is obvious since she is one. Now, do you have the impression that English speakers speak fast? Maybe because when you read, you can understand everything, but then when you listen, it's like a whole different language. What you may think is fast English is what we call connected speech. So when we use connected speech, we cut, link, and connect words together to make speech more natural and easier. So I guess the important thing to remember about connected speech is that not all words in English are said with the same speed, the same rhythm, and the same length. Let's take a look at the rhythm in Troy's sentence. You even looked like one too. Notice how his voice goes up and down in the sentence. Look like contains the main message in this sentence, so he builds up his speech to emphasize this. In order to create this movement, you, one, and two are reduced. You even looked like one too. Take a look at these sentences. Try to pronounce them according to their rhythm. Mm -hmm. 
Now listen and repeat with me. Where do you come from? Where do you come from? The concert was simply amazing. The concert was simply amazing. No kidding. No kidding. So you really want to do the callbacks? Hey, just call me Freaky Callback Boy. <laughs> callback is a common term in the film and theatre industry. That means that the actor got an invitation for a second audition and is closer to getting the part. When Troy tells Gabriella to call him Freaky Callback Boy, he's saying he is going to try to get the part in the school play and implied that he may lose his popularity because of it. Those wishing to audition must understand that time is of the essence. We have many roles to cast and final callbacks will be next week. Open it. What? <laughs> okay. To Freaky Callback Boy. Wow. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> I am a guy who wears necklaces now, apparently. Yeah. And I also feel less stupid for doing this. To freaky math girl. Of course. And thanks for showing me your top secret hiding place. Like kindergarten. Top secret is a way of emphasizing how completely hidden or confidential something is. When referring to government affairs or documents, you can also use classified or undisclosed information with the same idea. In the United States and in some other English speaking countries, kindergarten is the first year of formal schooling for kids aged between four and five, in which they begin to learn numeracy and literacy skills. So, another top secret hiding place. You're the second girl I've ever had up here. The first was my mom. She only climbed up here to get me down. <laughs> Do you remember in kindergarten how you'd meet a kid and know nothing about them, then 10 seconds later you were playing like you were best friends? Because you didn't have to be anything but yourself. Yeah. Singing with you felt like that. East High is a place where teachers encouraged us to break the status quo and define ourselves as we choose. Where a jock can cook up a mean creme brulee. <laughs> the brainiac can break down on the dance floor. <laughs> it's a place where one person, if it's the right person, changes us all. Esai is having friends that we'll keep for the rest of our lives. And I guess that means we really are all in this together. Because once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Thank you. East High is a place where teachers encouraged us to break the status quo. The status quo is the same as the present situation. It means the general way things are done or the current concepts people have about a topic. To maintain the status quo is to keep things as they are. To break it then means to change the way things are done or seen. A jock and cook up a mean creme brulee. <laughs> a jock is a school athlete. The reason why Troy says he's breaking the status quo is that the athletes are usually represented as tough and not focused on anything but their practice. Zeke, however, shows a sensitive sign and cooks a mean creme brulee. 
Mean here is a slang word for very good or excellent. Creme brulee is a French dessert made of egg, sugar, and cream. The jocks were almost the school, but if they get Troy into the musical, then they've conquered the entire student body. Zeke is baking creme brulee. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a creamy custard like filling with the caramelized surface. It's really satisfying. <laughs> Shut up, Zeke. The brainiac can break down on a dance floor. <laughs> Brainiac is an informal way to refer to a very intelligent person. Again, just like the athletes, these students are often represented or seen as shy and focused on their studies. However, here she also defies the status quo by breaking down on the dance floor. Break dancing is a street dance style that comes from hip hop. Break dancers perform lots of footwork and athletic moves. Our team is coming apart because of your singing thing. Even the drama geeks and the brainiacs suddenly think that they can talk to us. It's a place where one person, if it's the right person, changes us all. Here's another example of connected speech. Catenation occurs when a consonant sound at the end of a word links with a vowel sound at the beginning of another word. This is what happens with the S in changes and in us, changes us all. Changes us all. Look at these sentences. I'll say a word and you need to identify in which sentence they appear. Look at the first example. Nice. An ice cream. Run. Tin. Call. Pin. Tall. Okay, let's see how you did. Run. They're under the desk. Tin. Put your hat in the wardrobe. Call. The thieves took all the money. Pin. I'll help in any way you need. Tall. That was nothing at all. Isai is having friends that we'll keep for the rest of our lives. And I guess that means we really are all in this together. When you say to someone, we are in this together, it means that you are connected and support each other. Here Troy is making a reference to the iconic song of the first movie which they sang after all the school groups, the basketball team, drama group and the scholastic decathlon team worked together and became friends. Once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Once are, always are, is a phrase used to say that people stay the same and cannot change the way they behave and think even if they stop doing something. For example, once a teacher, always a teacher. Once a learner, always a learner. So here tree means that even after graduating from high school, there'll always be a wildcat that is, a part of East High School and the team forever. I hope you enjoyed learning with High School Musical today and before you watch without subtitles and test your knowledge with a quiz, make sure you head on over to our Instagram at reallife.english to stay informed and updated about all the lessons we have on our two YouTube channels and our podcast. Ah, oh, yeah. Wow. It's like a jungle up here. Yeah, just like that cafeteria. Where I just humiliated myself into the next century. No. <laughs> so this is your private hideout? Yeah, thanks to the science club, which means my buddies don't even know it exists. <laughs> You pretty much have the school wired, don't you, Troy? 
Which word is not a synonym of wired? A, excited. B, nervous. C, confused. Seems to me like everyone on campus wants to be your friend. <laughs> I saw the way you treated Kelsey at the audition yesterday. Do your friends know that guy? To them, I'm the playmaker, dude. Then they don't know enough about you, Troy. At my other schools, I was the freaky math girl. It's cool coming here and being anyone I want to be. When I was singing with you, I just felt like a girl. You even looked like one, too. Well, uh, I never thought about singing, that's for sure, until you. So you really want to do the callbacks? Hey, just call me Freaky Callback Boy. <laughs> You're a cool guy, Troy, but not for the reasons your friends think. And thanks for showing me your top secret hiding place, like kindergarten. East High is a place where teachers encouraged us to break the status quo and define ourselves as we choose. Where a jock can cook up a mean creme brulee. Which picture represents a jock? A. B. C. Brainiac can break down on a dance floor. <laughs> if someone is a brainiac, it means A, they don't study much, B, they are very smart, or C, they like to dance. It's a place where one person if it's the right person. It changes us all. Isai is having friends that we'll keep for the rest of our lives. And I guess that means we really are all in this together. Because once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Thank you.